Look what we have right here, ladies and gentlemen. Look, I know there's a lot of traffic noise. I apologize, but I got to give you a good look at everything on this particular home. Tell you where I'm at. This is at American Homes. This is in Morgantown, West Virginia. This house right here, I just walked in for the very first time. It's called the Lancaster, and it is amazing. And if you're like, Chance, I just really don't know about that one. Well, what do you think about this one? We're gonna be touring it as well. And I'm gonna give you another shot of that house over there. Very nice. But look at the huge roof pitch on this house. Obviously, we have the second level. Let's walk around, see what we got around back, and then we'll head on in. Do want to point out our side door that is positioned here. Yes, this is a very beautiful place. Uh, everything's very nice and clean. Great. Looks great. Y'all come check them out if you're over this way. And be sure to tell them you watch the videos. But yeah, look at that house right there. We're going to tour it as well. Uh, manufactured. Both of these are manufactured by Ritzcraft. So we have an electrical outlet here. Our uh, light fixture. Beautiful doors. Uh, let's just search. I don't know. Let's see if we got anything right here. Had to come over here and give you just one little quick shot. Yeah, we're going to check that upstairs out. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about that. Hey, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Let me tell you why we're walking around to this front door. If you enjoy these types of videos, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We're posting every single week. We travel the nation, or uh, it's really just me. Sometimes my family comes with me, but uh, yeah, looking at all types of manufacturers, all types of models. Don't forget to drop a like if you will as well. That'll help. Let's go out there. Another light fixture. Only one thing left to do. And that's make our way in, let's go. Today's video is sponsored by Cascade Financial. Cascade has specialized in manufactured home loans since 1999. So whether you're looking to finance the home only or the home and land together, Cascade has the right program for you. Okay. Yes, sir. I love Ritzcraft. Um, I love their showers. This one has one of those showers that I love the way they do a lot of their showers. Y'all, if you follow the channel really closely, last year, if you remember, probably about this time, I went to uh, went to their one of their plants and uh, toured some models. Oh, before we get in there, let's see what we got going on over here. Nice coat closet. And yeah, so this house is called the Lancaster, and I know there's Lancaster, Pennsylvania, right? In the manu in the plants in Pennsylvania, right? So I may have to look that up. I maybe I may not be exactly right. All right. We've got carpet here in the living room. So what you do with these models, these are show models. You come in here, say, hey, I love that Lancaster. I would like to get that home. Maybe I'd like to change this color or change this countertop or do, you know, some little odd and end changes or whatever to the floor plan. You could do that. You come in and man, you could build your dream home. That's what it's all about. Let's head into the kitchen. Wow. We've immediately got to come over here and look at this, how this bar, like bar area raises up. I want to show you, we do have electrical outlet there. Got the kitchen aid flat top. Beautiful gloss backsplash. Uh, I'm a sucker for the gloss stuff. Y'all know that if you follow the channel whatsoever. All right, I wanna get down there because I think I just seen a lazy Susan. 
but I want to turn right here first, give you a little bit more of a look, another electrical outlet, another electrical outlet there. We have been able to get some amazing homes this week. Oh, we've got lights under the cabinets. Just spotted that. So y'all stay tuned to the channel. I don't know which ones will be coming out first or anything like that, but they're all going to be coming at some point. Um, so if you're up this area, you're in for a real treat over the next little bit. And if you're not, it doesn't necessarily matter because, hey, for instance, Ritzcraft, we were just talking about it. I went towards some in Indiana last year. So they do cover a lot of area, and I'll talk more about that at the end huge refrigerator they cover a lot of space like this refrigerator you know <laughs> you see what i did there huge refrigerator i've seen a fridge this big in the past but i've never seen them with like this on the doors for your settings and also that's that's great you know i didn't really hit the dining area i'm gonna come back we'll hit that when we go back down that way i'm gonna go ahead and start looking at some bedrooms if that's cool with y'all okay this is gonna be under your stairwell. Great setup. I mean, could you imagine maybe having you a basement down there or just be a great storage room? Sorry about that. Get a light cut on for you. Hey, this is a good size walk-in closet. And I like these racks. I've talk about them, talked about them in the past, but you got hanging here and you can hang stuff here. Go ahead and look at this other bedroom real quick. Oh. Right here. Got the twin windows. This is on the front of the home, as you could tell. give you a shot of this these baseboards very nice what is that probably four inch baseboards that's just a that's just a chance to make, like a guest you know oh, okay no, i don't know that for sure all right we've got a bath here let me show you this next So it looks like we have around 1,800 square foot on this main level. So, you know, this house isn't just, I mean, it's, it, from the outside, it really looks big, don't it? But it's not like crazy, crazy like a lot of, you know, if it's just you and maybe a kid or just you and your spouse or whatever, you know, it's still a comfortable size house. Now, if you finish out this second level and all that, then hey, you know, that's on you. <laughs> All right, here we are. Into the dining area. There's those doors we looked at. Look, we've got some more cabinets over there. Beautiful light fixture. This is a big area from that kitchen island to this wall is a very big area. I'll have a floor plan for you. Hopefully, probably have that forward point walk in right there. But let's go up next up. We're going to take a look into the utility room. So this is the side door. If you're facing the house, be on that right. If you're facing the house on the right side there. Uh, when I was walking around. Yeah, that's another two-story home we're going to be getting in as well. Got a, got a great little open area here if you want to put some other stuff in here. You know, you know all, a lot of times I talk about like freezers and stuff, but you know what I just thought about? This would be a great spot just to have your um, ironing board, you know? I mean, a lot of you right now, you're shaking your head and you're like, Chance, that's the dumbest. <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know, who wants to have to, every time you got to iron something, 
go break out the iron board. You got to do this, do that. There'll just be a good spot. Just have it standing there. And I know I'm not saying you, you have to. I'm just, it was just a thought. Here's our water heater. Furnace there. Okay, now it's time for the main bedroom. We're almost getting to that shower. Just hang tight. We're almost there. Don't you be, don't, we're not there yet. I do like that ceiling fan. That looks great. Come over here and let's uh, take a look inside of our main bedroom closet. It's going to be definitely the biggest closet in this house. Even have your baseboards in here as well. Okay. Now, I was glad to see a huge tub in this house as well because I've been touring a lot of homes this week and a lot of them are just really big showers, which personally, that's what I like, but I see it in the comments all the time. Y'all are like, I've got to have my tub. Well, this one has the jets and everything. Everything but Betty, you know what I'm saying? See what I did there? <laughs> Too early for all that, y'all. I'm recording this video. It's like nine o'clock in the morning, so I'm trying to trying to get going. But yeah, I mean, on a serious note, I love how they designed it around there. And then yeah, just it's not just a standard tub. We've got everything. We've got double sinks over here. And then here we go. Look at this shower. So I do have to start off, I figure most, most of you will be able to tell, but there'll be a piece of glass that goes right here. It'll be some of that cut glass. I'm sorry. It'll be some of that cut glass that comes up, you know, it'll come across. So obviously you don't have water and stuff getting outside of the shower. But man, that is beautiful. I, a lot of their showers I, I tour, Ritz Craft, they have a lot of those turns and stuff like that where you walk around in, and I just, I don't know, I'm really into it. I've also seen some, for instance, that pretty much will continue this all the way up where when you do walk around and walk in here, it's like you're, I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's just very unique, I guess. It's not your typical tile shower that I tour here on the channel. And then we can't forget to mention, you know, what we have here in the floor. You know, it's not that uh, fiberglass like you'll see in a lot of tile showers, which, I mean, not necessarily is the worst thing ever, but I'm just saying this is really taking it to the next level. So, beautiful. One more thing about the shower, and I'm going to head, up, head upstairs, but I was just thinking, you know, don't get me wrong. If you're like me, you see a big shower, you're just like, ooh, that's beautiful, but... This shower is not overkill, I guess is the best way to put it. You know, it's plenty of room. It's definitely all you need, but it's not like some showers I toured, obviously they're great to get on video, you know, because they're just massive. But I'm like, especially when I'm editing the video, I'm like, that's, that shower is just, I mean, you know, what, what do you need a shower that big for? Don't get me wrong. They're good to look, they're fun to look at, but Anyways, let's go ahead, make our way upstairs, see what we got. I actually have not even been up here, so who knows what's gonna happen. So it looks like we don't have this second level finished out, but my goodness at the potential. So you got 1,800 square foot on the bottom, and then think if you finish, oh my gosh, you could, you could easily be pushing 4,000 square foot, I would think. And I love how it's just a huge open. I mean, if let's just, for instance, obviously you might want to do some halls, bedrooms, and baths. What if you just sheetrock this whole area 
and it was completely like this. And maybe you put carpet down. I mean, you could have a playroom of playrooms. I don't know. You may not want to do that. You may want to do something different. Y'all let me know what you want to do. Let's get into more information. Y'all don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Please share this video and drop a like if you have it. Thank you. That was amazing. I'm sitting here looking at the floor plan and plan. It's the floor plan. That's what I'm looking at. And you know what I'm thinking? Y'all drop a comment. Speaking of comments, I have been getting a lot of comments on the previous tour because it is performing very well. Thank you all so much for watching and sharing that video. It was such an amazing opportunity that I got the video. I'm going to pop that thumbnail up. If you have not seen it, it's the video for this. You need to go check it out. It's a kind of a totally different house, but it is the future. Okay, so this one right here, looking at the floor plan, 1,800 square foot, 30 by 60, uh, with that second, you know, not having the second level finished out. And what I love is the fact that it's not crazy amount of square footage, but from the exterior, the look is amazing. The house just looks big. I mean, could you imagine that sitting out off the road somewhere? You just drive by and you look at it and you're like, wow, that house looks like it's 4,000 square foot. No, it's only 1800 so you're only heating and cooling 1800 you know, so you're not, you know, I guess what I'm saying is it's got that huge look, but a little bit smaller square footage. I like that. Y'all let me know in the comment section uh, your personal opinion. You can check out their website if you want, American Homes, you can. I'll have some information in the description. As usual, we'll have some links in there, link in there if you want to see about getting financed and pre-approvals, those types of things. Our members area link, plus the second channel link, which, which we just had a video come out on last night. Now, what I try to focus on on that channel is your really uh, affordable type manufactured homes is the main types of videos we put up. So if that's what you're looking for, check it out. Link's in the description. It's Collier's Homeworld. It's the blue logo. Okay. Videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night, 645 Central Time. And so I did decide to put this video out. I was debating on this house and another house. So tomorrow night, I'm posting a home that is a part of a brand new series Okay, and I'm going to try to find some little picture to pop up for it to give you an idea, maybe spark some interest. So I'll, I'll try to pop that up right here. Uh, but this house will be one like we've never put on the channel. I mean, it's a manufactured home, don't get me wrong. But this house is beautiful. I cannot wait to post it. I wanted to do it tonight, but, you know, I try to keep it everything going in order and I hadn't put out a modular in a little while so I wanted to put out this one but Thursday night come back y'all y'all come back it'll be worth your time go ahead and set a reminder on your phone or on your notepad something okay let's get into pricing on this house now you know I just do these tours for entertainment to show you everything so I just took what they had there at their place, this was sitting inside the house, okay? So it depends on all the different options, your location, so many factors, but this will give you a good idea what something like this is going for at this time of recording. Now keep in mind, this pricing can change at any point, and this will just be what I'll be able to provide for you here in a YouTube tour. Here we go right here. Actually, I'm gonna pop it up. Here it is. The Lancaster. Number six there on their location. They have a beautiful lot. I know I've already mentioned it, but beautiful location. If you're that way, go see them. I'm going to head out. Be back Thursday night. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're going to, if you do come back, you're going to watch that tour and 100%, I believe, you're going to say that was worth being, that was worth coming to. I'm just saying, you're not, I don't believe you're going to be let down. And if you are, Maybe you need to watch it again. <laughs> All right. I'll see y'all Thursday night. See ya.